U-606 continues to patrol the western approaches, scouring the seas for any enemy shipping we can find. Thus far, we have been at sea for just over 16 days, and have conducted one attack, sinking a total of three enemy freighters. Fuel and food supply is enough to keep us at sea for around 20 more days. Hopefully, we will have some better luck in the coming weeks before we are forced to RTB. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting U-Boat video. U-606 has encountered a lone merchant ship, and we are getting into the action right off the bat here. If we go to our map, we can see here is the enemy freighter. It is closing in on our position, and it looks like it's heading like 080090, something like that. We're going to send that report to BDU, and we are going to turn south to try to shoot one of our stern torpedoes at this freighter. Let's triple check and make sure our stern torpedo tube is ready to go. And indeed, a T2 torpedo loaded and it is completely preheated, so we should have quite a while here. Which is good. And a G7E torpedo will be quite nice in these nice and clear weather conditions. As you can see, it is quite sunny. It is currently uh, almost 1500 hours here. And there's the enemy freighter there, and our Biscay Cross is peeking out of the water as well. It is quite choppy. If the ship does not go down with one hit, I probably will utilize the deck gun to finish her off. Um, however, we will have to get quite close as these sea conditions are going to make it easy to miss with our deck gun. And let's, now that I'm thinking about the deck gun, let's actually check our deck gun ammunition. Okay, plenty. We have high ex 15 rounds of high explosive and 40 rounds of armor piercing, so... Uh, food supply is okay. Uh, we have 100 sausages, 100 cheese, and 100 canned meat. So we should be able to stay at sea for quite a while. Fuel and everything. Fuel's at 50%, so we have already burned 50% of our fuel. We've been at sea for 19 days now, and we've had quite little luck. We uh, sank that pretty large formation, three enemy ships up here. And ever since then, we have not found much besides the odd aircraft. Anyway, to get this target speed, we are going to use a 3 minute 15 second method just to, just to make things easy here. Let's clear that. And let's mark here, 0 0.7 apparently, and start. Okay. And we will wait for 3 minutes and 15 seconds and then mark the enemy ship a second time. What's our speed? Let's slow down to forward 1. We don't want to get too far. We may want to reverse a little bit here as well. We don't want to get too far away from the enemy target. Okay. Got more time compression. Two minutes. And there we go. Get our marker ready. And once we pass 15 seconds, it looks like she just has some boxes on the deck there. Set. No trucks or anything like that. And no guns, it would seem, which is uh, reassuring for our deck gun attack. Okay, from 0.7 to 0.8, 6.8 knots. We'll just round up to 7 and make things easier. Get rid of that. Bring up our TDC. And expand this so I can see the dials. All right. So we got her going 7 knots. We are going to keep the torpedo speed at 30 knots. That is the maximum speed of a G7E torpedo. Don't need to change that. We're going to uh, turn. There we go. Angle on bow. We'll get that here soon. And we are firing a stern torpedo tube. Okay. Let's go to the attack scope. Up scope and bring it down and look at <laughs> look at the uh, the horizon, not straight up. All right. Lock on target and let's begin the identification process. Picture is a little fuzzy, but um, hmm, obviously not a destroyer. Let's see, Empire Bell, two masts, and it has this little little mast in front of here. Yeah, five thousand tons. I think this may be her. Yeah, let's recognize the target, Empire Bell, and what's her top speed? It's like top speed is ten knots. Same with most of these other ships, huh? Okay, 10 knots, so 7-knot seven, seven speed is quite reasonable. Let's go ahead and get her range, range to target, set 3 kilometers. That's fine. Let's begin reversing a little bit, shall we, though? 
And let's get this a little smaller. And angle on bow. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with just 60 degrees to starboard for the time being. We will adjust that as we get a little bit closer. Three kilometers. Okay. Overall, looking pretty good. I'm feeling quite confident in this shot. It's really just going to be a matter of time and her getting nice and close to us. Okay, let's use a little bit of time compression. We are going five knots in reverse. That is quite fast. Uh, for reverse one, we may go forward a little bit here. We don't want to be that close, you know? Uh, but, yeah, now it's just a waiting game. Setting up a perfect textbook attack. Let's start moving forward. I'll head slow. And we'll try to get her range here momentarily. Damn. Oh boy, nice and close. Just the way I like it. All right. Make sure it's set at seven knots. Okay, range to target. Do, 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 do. And get that water line up to the top of the mass set. We'll go with 1.5. Okay, angle on bow, it's 70 degrees to starboard. Yeah, that's believable. And now we really just need to uh, need to wait here. Okay, we are now in a very good position to fire. Yep, this all looks fine to me at this point. Let's get this up. Make sure we are using the TDC data. Flood tube 5. We're going to keep it at 1.5 meters just to ensure there's no malfunctions or anything. Uh, the game and drafts are a little funky still. All right, tube 5 ready. Fire. All right, tube five is away. We will reload that with something here soon. Throw a little torpedo on the map, heading straight for the target. A little bit of time compression here, and I, I think we have ourselves a hit. I don't want to jinx it or anything. Let's pull out here and watch the, the pretty fireworks, hopefully. Should be only a matter of seconds for now. I always get impatient here and constantly check the map and then miss the explosion but looks like that's not going to happen this time all right pretty solid hit right amidships alarms are going off and it looks like she is coming to a halt here spring up our ui and yeah we can see the the bar serious damage not as bad as i would have thought however the waves are starting to lap over her deck Okay, let's begin changing course and use a little bit of time compression. Wow, okay, that was surprisingly little damage. Uh, I was expecting something a little more spectacular, but that's fine. I'll get some deck gun practice, I suppose. Let's see, is she going to continue to flood or anything? Oh, it looks like it. She's just chugging along. Okay. Yeah, they, they are alarmed. All right, let's go ahead and surface the boat. They are not armed, so she has a pretty pretty serious list to starboard here. Looks like she's also taking water in the bow. Yeah, I mean, look at that. She just doesn't look too good, but she's still going. So we're going to hurry up, surface the boat, and use our deck gun uh, before any allied, you know, ASW assets come into the area. Let's get you on the deck gun, please. Once our deck gun is able to be used and not submerged. There we go. Get on the 88, and I will assign two additional sailors here. All right, start moving standard speed and diesel compressors on. Turn on our pump as well. I think we had a little bit of water built up in the bilge. Yeah, we do. Okay, and now we close. We want to get nice and close so it's nice and easy to actually hit the target. And... Cool. Deck gun attacks are always uh, quite exciting. Thankfully, she's not armed. <laughs> that would that would make things uh, extremely interesting. I probably would not surface the boat if she was indeed armed. And there they go. The crew's running to the deck gun. And I will go ahead and get on the deck gun. Can I at least try to hit from this range? Oh boy, it's too far. Let's just get let's just get close. No need to waste a whole bunch of deck gun ammo. Alright. Let's get on here. And we should be able to hit from this range. Fire one. There we go. One hit, one fire. That was quick. 
That was <laughs> extremely uh, fast. Okay. Gun is reloaded. Let's try to... There we go. Another hit. It's always hard to kind of counteract the uh, bobbing of the waves. Gotta be... Yeah, there we go. That'd be nice and precise. It looks like they have extinguished. Nope, she's still on fire. Hard to tell, and uh, the sun is just glaring off of her superstructure like that. Down to 11 rounds of high explosive. We'll just use our high explosive up. Might as well. Looks like that fire's pretty large, though. It may be spreading. Got a little audio bug there. Yeah, it looks like the fire is actually spreading to the stern of the ship. I'll take it. We can probably hold fire now. Yeah, it's a pretty serious fire. Yeah, I think uh, I think our job here is done. <laughs> I'm being honest. Now look at that, golly! That's quite a. Uh... Whoa! What the hell just happened? There we go. She's sinking. Beautiful. Let's send that report into BDU and get the hell out of here before enemy aircraft arrive. Well, 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 what do we have here? Chimney smoke on the horizon. Oh, this is surprising. <laughs> I, I I, do not encounter uh, lone ships this frequently. Let's get our radio man on and turn to intercept. Okay, send that in. It says it's a tiny group, just one, one ship. Do I... Looks like she is heading east as well. We may have come across a lone shipping lane here. Okay. Well, I will take it. Right, looks like we will be attacking in grid BE-34, 38. Let's just keep moving north and increase get speed up, to standard. Up. Okay, we are closing in nicely. I'm going to stay on the surface. Oh, geez, look how rough it is. Ouch. Um, Actually, this periscope depth, please. Let's go down to periscope depth. And go ahead and get on the hydrophone now. Make sure there's nothing else lurking out here in the area. Okay, we are down at PD, and you, my friend, can get off the radio. We do not need you there. Detection. Okay, another lone freighter. Oh, I do not mind if I do. We move forward, and we should be able to get into an intercept position nice and easy, down to slow speed. Looks like this one has some uh, Jeeps and a couple of trucks on it. Okay, well... Time for just another textbook attack, I suppose. Nothing too fancy. We'll fire one torpedo, and then if it doesn't go down, then of course we will use our deck gun again. We have 40 rounds of armor piercing, so uh, we should be able to do quite a bit of damage with that. Okay, passing three minutes and closing in on 15 seconds. This method is just the easiest to get a very accurate speed reading set, and why not? Make things a little easy. Okay, seven knots. Seven knots again? Okay. I'm not complaining. Just surprised. Uh, let's set up our TDC for this sort of attack. We are going to be firing a bow torpedo, of course. Uh, just because we're already in position. Angle on bow is going to be to starboard and speed. Just that seven knots. And there we go. We are set. All right. Okay, time compression time. Let's... uh. Let's start moving one third speed just to get a little bit closer to the target. Cause at this rate, I mean, we are quite far. It's like well over two kilometers away. And it kind of looks like she has slightly changed course, heading a little more northward, but I, I may just be imagining things that is, that is very possible. <laughs> okay, a little time compression to get nice and close, slow down. And we will begin identification here extremely shortly. Okay, let's begin all of that good stuff now. Up scope. And just 
Captain's always looking at very... In oh my gosh. This fog has to have just come in here. There she is. I can see her smoke. Okay, we need to get close. Are you... Schneller, Schneller. Wow, this fog layer just came in? That is fascinating. I love that. That makes it a little more interesting, huh? Okay. Let's get... Try to get nice and close. That's why this thing is just rapidly uh, changing. Okay, slow down. We don't want to be within 300 meters of the target, which we are going to be now. Okay, up scope. We can reverse off. I just need to be close enough to see the enemy vessel. There she is. Lock on target. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a point blank attack. I cannot make out. What, what type of ship is this? Let's try real quick. It's, it's got a thick stack. Empire Tower, possibly. Yeah, it looks like the Empire Tower has the thickest stack. Oh, this may be another... Um... Oh, negative. Yep, Empire Tower. That is indeed it. Okay, Empire Tower. Perfect. Range is like 300 meters. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll... Yeah, 350 meters. We will be slightly generous. Angle on bow is pretty I'll acute right now. That is rapidly changing. Okay. Speed seven knots. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, set. Get our torpedoes ready and shoot. Okay, you, my friend, warm up tube one. And you, my friend, warm up tube number two. We'll try here. See if we can warm them up in time, but probably not. We will be firing just... Just fire a G7A torpedo. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. We will fire... Four. Speed set to 44 knots. Hopefully it's not a dud. Okay, tube four. Check angle on bow, actually. Pretty close. 80 degrees. Yeah, seems good. How long do we have? We're halfway there. The bearing drift is pretty rapid here. Whoa. Do I wait? Start moving forward. Do I wait and fire at a worse angle? I think I will. To remove the chances of duds, I think I will. <laughs> okay. We'll fire tubes one and two. I also want to ensure a hit. Uh, we sink it with two torpedoes. Yeah, we don't have to wait too long. There we go. My bad, I sh certainly should have checked and our conning tower is approaching the surface. Okay, locked on target. Rudder amidships. Okay, angle on bow seems to be pretty close to 90 actually right now. So let's go ahead and plot that in. Angle on bow, just set it to 90. Impact angle, be a little funky. Reduce speed to 30 knots. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Bring this up, tubes Roll one and two flun. Dispersion. Yeah, point, very narrow spread. Roll Wait for those to flun. Okay, torpedoes away. And they are turning towards the target. Should be far enough away for them to arm. To be 300 meters away for our torpedoes to arm. And I, I do believe we are farther than that. Let's just do a quick check. Yeah, around 400 meters out. A very close attack. The fog definitely made this quite dynamic. I, I do like that sort of thing. Okay. I like how every engagement being a little, little different. And it did add a challenge. Also, me realizing the torpedoes weren't preheated added a challenge, but there we go. There's one hit, two hit. I think that's all she wrote. That mass falling over. <laughs> See you later. Lots of fires breaking out on the uh, on the deck there. Oh boy, brutal. The fog looks quite nice in this game as well. I mean, I, I don't say it enough. Like this lighting as well. Uh, from the fire on the uh, ocean, just graphically, this game is... I can't give it enough praise. It looks great. Looks like some men have made it to the life rafts, and she is burning almost from stem to stern. 
But I think... Yeah, she's pretty much done for. Torpedo hit the enemy. And no, we have the official report. She has sunk. Okay, let's go ahead and get our radio operator on here and shoot that off to BDU. Okay, sending that to BDU, 2000 Renown. Let's, we'll linger around the area and see if there's anything else. It seems we have stumbled across a, uh, a shipping lane here though, from the looks of it. There we go. We'll go ahead and reload those torpedoes and we are going to head out into the North Atlantic. I do want to try to find a very large convoy. I think that would be an excellent way to round out this patrol, but we do have to consider we are starting to run low on uh, fuel for one. We're at the 47% and also food. Food will be a consideration. Let's see, are there any little little boxes we can gather out here? From the looks of it, there is not. We There weren't any on the previous ship either. We've been kind of unlucky with finding supply. Oh well, um, that's okay. Well, we are going to start moving away. All ahead of one third and uh, let's put some distance between us and the sinking. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel and expect to see more U-boats soon. The new patch B-129 is shaping up to be something really special, so I am very excited for that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.